This is a meditation on, on visualization, attained visualization capacity. I don't know if you've ever seen a, a, a wheel on a bicycle that's laying down if you spin it and it's moving very fast. If you try, you can actually take a freeze frame, like a still shot, as if a camera were taking a picture of the wheel and it would look like it was standing still even though it was spinning very rapidly. So if we take a slow, deep breath of light and love from spirit into heart, mind, soul, and body, and visualize that light arriving to your soul, the light of spirit, the blessing and grace of spirit, moment by moment, microsecond by microsecond, getting closer and closer and presenting itself to your soul and seeing the blending of the light of spirit occur, that magnificent moment of realized oneness between spirit and your soul. The realization of that oneness, the truth of that oneness, the beauty and grace of it, the, the magnificent miracle of that merging of spirit and soul. If you visualize it, can you slow that process down and see it occur moment by moment, microsecond by microsecond? Can you see it change? Can you see the luminescence of the light of spirit illuminate your soul? Can you see that this is a process that is beyond time and space? It's not limited by either. It's not limited by your past history. It's not limited by the physical world. It's not limited by personalities or tribe or history or what might happen in the future. It is completely transcendent of all of that. And you can visualize this occurring and experience it fully due to that capacity to visualize it. If you take another slow, deep breath of light and love from spirit and find in that light and in that love, the energy to illuminate your mind's eye, to brighten it, to clear it, to wipe the lens and, and clean it so that it shines light through it, crystal clear, bright and true and accurate from moment to moment, so that you can see out at the world from the light of your soul and the light of spirit accurately, precisely, intelligently, consciously, discerningly, without projection, without fear, without ego, without personality, without any sense of self, without control, without need to be safe from anything, without any fear of anything. You can simply see. And as you do, you can recognize that you're safe, that everything is as it must be, everything is unfolding quite miraculously and brilliantly in this world. The world is as we are choosing for it to be, for our learning as a species and for the process of spirit to unfold gracefully. And if there are any pictures that would attempt to overlay that clear, accurate picture of what is, if you watch the parts of yourself that would, are trying to present them and say, oh no, this is reality. Oh no, this is reality. Oh no, I must fear this, or I must worry about this, or I must assume this, I must project this or believe this. Any part of your system that would try to do anything other than retain this clear view through your mind's eye 
of everything in the world as it truly is, can you understand that you have a choice to say no to that, those projections, to say no to the dynamics of personality and ego, to say no with the resonance of tribe, or tribal energies, or beliefs, or, or feelings, or fears, in the midst of the fray and the turbulence of the world, you can have a clear lens on all of life, a clear view of everything. Lighted by spirit, every step along your path, you can see clearly without projection, without filtration, without distortion, without assumption and without expectation. You can simply see what is. And by seeing what is, you can make wise choices moment by moment by moment. If you take one more slow, deep breath, of light and love from spirit, and hold that light in your heart and in your soul and in your mind, and understand how you've arrived at this moment of clear vision and understanding and, and perceptive sight so that you can choose this lighted, clear view through conscious intention at any point in the future. Transcendent of fear, transcendent of expectation, transcendent of projection, transcendent of others' expectations or tribal intention or dynamics, you remain free, you remain clear, you remain empowered by clear vision and with a clear understanding. You take one last slow deep breath of light and love from spirit you hold it in your heart and in your soul. If you breathe some of it out to the folks in Russia and the folks in Ukraine with love, kindness, and care and healing and intention, as they are in so much pain in these days and in such need of love, kindness, and care and service. We close this meditation with the sound of Om, spoken in conscious clarity and unconditional love. Om.